this is the last video in my get series. If you want to check out some of the other videos, link in the card above. I cover everything from what is Git, why you would want to use it, how to use it, how to install it on your computer. One last thing that I wanted to talk about is SSH keys. So let's go. If you're new to Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just looking at getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I wanna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to work together. If you're not sure what Git is, how to use it, why to use it, how to install it on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series, link in the card above. SSH is a method for secure login and file transfer. If you go over to GitHub and click on the clone or download button on a repository, you'll see that it says clone with SSH. Use a password protected SSH key. You can think of this as a little secret handshake that your computer has with GitHub. The benefit is that it's secure and you don't have to constantly enter your username and password. I'm gonna pull up GitHub's documentation. I'll include a link to this in the description below. The first thing that we'll wanna do is copy this line and paste it into the terminal. SSH keygen T R S A B. 4096 C. We don't need the dollar sign. That's just there to show that it's a new line. And then obviously we'll need to replace this email address with our own. Once the file is generated, it's gonna ask you where you want to save it. You can hit enter and it will save the keys to the default location. I'd encourage you to put it in the default location because it'll make it easier to find later. If you already have a key, it will ask you if you wanna overwrite it. I'm gonna say yes. And then it'll ask you to enter a secure passphrase. You could just hit enter and save it without a passphrase, but since this is all about security, I'd encourage you to enter something. And then it will ask you to confirm it. Awesome, we've generated our keys, so now we just need to add it to GitHub so that it will have that information. We wanna be able to copy and paste our SSH key into GitHub. So in order to do that, we need to get that key into our clipboard. I'm gonna include another page of GitHub documentation in the description below. Copy this first line right here. The PP copy, remember we don't need the dollar sign. Paste that into the terminal and it will put our key into our clipboard. Now go over to GitHub and go down to settings and then click on SSH and GPG keys. Click on the new SSH key button in the title field, give it a nice description. I usually name mine according to the computer that it's on. So 2018 MacBook Pro. Then in the key field, we can just hit paste and then click the add SSH key button. It'll probably ask for your GitHub password, so provide that. And then you'll probably get an email from GitHub later letting you know that someone added a key. That's it, now you can interact with GitHub from the command line without having to enter your username and password every single time. And you can clone using the SSH path. If you like this video and wanna see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you wanna receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.